Welcome back to a brand new video here on Black Nine Films. Now, if you know Good Good, you will have seen during one of the fan meetups, Garrett Clark hit a fan. Now, the parents of this fan are considering legal action. Now, I've been doing some research to see who is at fault and do they have any grounds to make any legal action or is this just something where you've got to go, it's at your own risk. Now, with this video, we're going to go into depth here. So do make sure you stick around because I want to hear what you think on this matter. Because we know good, good are getting huge. The amount of people that are turning up is crazy. So guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Don't forget though, if you do want to keep up to date with everything golf news, do subscribe to Back Nine Films and make sure you turn the bell because you never quite know when we're going to release a video. So have a look at this right here. You can see there are so many people all around Garrett. He then hits a snap hook low left. Now, think about this, right? Garrett is a very, very good player. He can drive it over 300 yards, over 180 ball speed, but at the end of the day, he is still an amateur golfer. Bad shots are going to happen. Now, the look on Garrett's face is like shock. What has happened? He immediately runs over to the fan. And actually, the point I wanna make right now is the fan recording it. Have a listen to this audio right here. I would let Gary hit me with the ball, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. no, I thought that was I'm not saying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, big one So he says, I don't care if Garrett hits me right now. Now, unfortunately, you need to be careful what you wish for sometimes because he does get hit. Now, it's important to say this fan, this young lad, is all okay and nobody was injured. Apart from his parents now are wanting to think about suing Good Good. Now, I'm going to say right now, maybe they're thinking about this because they realize how much money Good Good make. Is it a way of them thinking, right, we can make some money here? So... First things first, my first point with this, and I want you to get involved here, guys, this is all about us talking about this and discussing it, is that when you go to a fan meetup like this, when you go to something like that, and you're standing ahead of a golf ball, like, for me, I sympathize a good, good hit. The, the, the fans are taking that at their own risk. It's like Nadal when he hit the young ball boy. It's like when you go to a football game, you're going to get probably hit by a ball. When you go to ice hockey, you're probably going to get hit by a puck sometimes. These things happen. Now, I I just think in, in my eyes, I look at it and go, yeah, you know what? Unfortunate circumstances, it's happened. Maybe if you don't want to get hit, stand behind them. Because at the end of the day, these guys are just amateur golfers. Now, there is a flip side to this. Like, that's what the sort of the honesty, the heart side of things that I think about that whole situation. But the legal side of this. So I don't know if you remember, Le Golf National, Ryder Cup, Brooks Kepka hit a fan. Now, there was a debate at the time to whether he shouted for. Now, in relation to the Garrett incident, the player, the fan was stood so close to the player, even if he did shout for, I mean, it, it, it would have had no chance of getting out of the way. Like, everybody was shocked. Everybody was gassed. But going back to the Golf National, it came out that Brooks Kepka shouted for, which meant there was no legal ground for this person to sue him. But the person actually struggles now to see out of one of their eyes due to the impact of where the ball hit. So what I want Good Good to think about here is this. The PGA Tour have legal binding documents on the back of each ticket. They have a disclaimer, which states, voluntarily assume all risk and danger incidental to the game of golf. Basically saying that once you purchase a ticket, you're taking on that obligation of, if I get hit, it's my fault. Now, in the terms of good good here, right, they are just having a fan meetup. I don't think any tickets are sold. They don't really know how many people are going to turn up. If I was them, right, I think this should be a warning. Good, good, I've got to be really careful. Like, I really love their content, but you've got to think about it this way. They are getting so big right now. They're getting like two, three, maybe even 500 fans turning out and standing in front of them when they've got ridiculous ball speeds, there is always going to be some risk. Now, this fan got hit, I think, on the arms, some reports are. Some of the reports that he got hit in the nuts, like... It's all hearsay, I think, a little bit where he got hit. At the end of the day, he got hit. It could have been much worse. Now, what I think they've got to do, to these fan meetups, they've got to start selling tickets, right? 
whether they, whether they make a profit or not, maybe they just, you just register your interest on their website. Don't even sell them, just register interest on your website and then once you get a ticket for free, you basically enter into signing a disclaimer. So therefore, you're going to watch this at their own risk. Because God forbid, if this was much worse, then I think they could have a serious problem on their hands. Other things they could do for the three, four holes they're gonna film, put some roping out. Because you can see, right, it happens. When people stand in front, it gets a little bit narrower, a little bit narrower, a little bit narrower, because the person right at the end wants to really view what's happening. So my advice then is, get a form of ticket where when you buy a ticket, you've got a disclaimer. Because I would hate to see anything major happen. I would hate to see anything worrying happen that could actually jeopardize the career of Good Good or actually jeopardize the career of them all. Like at the end of the day, this one they got away with, right? Garrett was shocked. I mean, it's gonna shock everybody. And the young fan was all okay. So everything is okay. And I think honestly, the parents should just go, my son was there at his own risk. He was standing in front of it. Don't worry about it. I hope there's not a cynical side to this where they're trying to get money out of Good Good or out of Garrett for something where he, the young lad was actually just trying to get a video of one of his heroes, right? That's what these guys are right now. That is what my take on it. But guys, with all these ideas that I've just gone through, what do you think? Do you think the parents, do you think the young lad has any ground to sue Good Good or sue Garrett? I honestly don't think they have. I think they've just got to brush it under the carpet. But what do you think about my idea? They definitely have to think about ticketing. They've definitely got to think about disclaimers of some sort, even on these relaxed fan meetups. I know it takes out the, God, just come down, guys. Spare the moment. Come on, watch us. But God forbid anything happened, then that could be the end, right? That could be the end of any fan meetups going forwards. They're getting that big. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell so you never miss a breaking new story here on Batman Films.